So the idea is that um, <coughs> and get the Zim and get to Z and get to Z Mug is our family. And get to Mag is is that I'm humble. Well the reason why we're humble is because of the order of creation. We were created last. In a st in the story of our creation story, all the animals were already here, the trees, the birds, the plants, the animals, the four legged, the winged, the swimmers, they were all here already and they were waiting for our arrival. And so when we came here, before we came here, everything was working perfectly already. The animals didn't need us. The birds didn't need us. They needed each other, but they didn't need us. And so because of that, our existence is such that um, everything could work just fine without us. If we were not on this planet, that wouldn't be detrimental to the planet. So if we if the animals, the birds, plants were not here, that would be detrimental to us. So because of that, we have that respect for who and what Creator created for us. And so in that relationship, what happens is that we always acknowledge who we are. So humility is one of the things, one of the cultural values that's incorporated when you talk about uh, describing animals, plants, all these things. And we truly believe that we cannot exist without them, but they can exist without us. So because of that, um, we have s ceremonies that um, accomplish this. Whenever we uh, take the life of, a, of an animal, we honor the spirit of the animal. Thank you for giving your body to us. The spirit is still alive. And so what you're doing is you're offering, you're, uh, offering thanks to the spirit, whether the deer gives his body so that we could nourish our body. We are, we are thanking the spirit of that animal for uh, the sacrifice that it has made. So if you truly believe that it's a gift, then you are truly humble about what you know. Same with knowledge. My ma, who is a very fluent speaker and can, you can never stump her with the language. And so what happened is um, she's very knowledgeable that way. But when you ask her something, she'll always say, I don't know very much of anything. And when I, and, but I will try to help you. So she doesn't know much of anything and then she can talk for hours. So even within that, when you hear people introducing themselves, the first statement they say is, I don't know how to speak the language very, very well. However, I will try to speak the language. Even fluent speakers will say that. Even before they mention their name, their clan, that the humbling statement is the first thing that they utter. Because remember, if the, when you're realize that the language is a gift, then you, are, you accept the gift humbly and, and the way that you share it is by giving it away. So when you know that, then that humbling statement, that's what I do in my classroom, I tell them that the humbling statement describes your humility and your appreciation of the gift that the Creator gave to you. And so when you do that, even before you identify who you are, what you are, where, where you come from. So once you do that, Gawain Apache. I don't know how to speak the language very well.